What's going on, everybody? It's going for the latest news, and I'm back. I wanted to talk about this girl, Sydney Lede. Yeah, that's right. She was also involved in a takeoff situation. She got she supposedly got shot in the head, also. But I believe she got grazed. I don't believe the bullet actually entered her head. Um. I don't know, but this is this is fishy, man? I feel like this is a money grab. Definitely a money grab. Shorty trying to get some bread. Not one time does she sing a to take off or anything like that. Not one time. She's all right. She a lot to tell the story. He ain't, you know? So at least, you know, be considerate to him and his family, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, bro, shorty just looking for a bag, man. Sad. Really sad. I the interview right here for those who didn't see. One of them is 24-year-old Sydney Lede. She was shot in the head in the early morning hours of November 1st, spent a week in the hospital, and says it's a miracle she survived. Lede is born and raised in Houston and says she's been leaning on her family for support. It's a story we've been working on for months and waiting until she was ready to tell her story. In her first interview, she talks with us about what it was like being there that night and the wounds she's still recovering from physically and emotionally. Sydney, first, tell us how you're doing. Every day is different I'm I'm going through different emotions um, I haven't saw a therapist or anything so this most days I'm happy I mean well most days well, I could just to sum it up it's a mix of emotions so I have random times where I feel angry um a lot of i wouldn't say sadness it's um i have feelings of being grateful that i am still here you've made a miraculous recovery tell us what you've been through i, I really just can say i'm just grateful to be here and it's just like sometimes i'm real do you remember the moment you first woke up in the hospital? Everybody was around me. Well, when I first woke up, like I said, I didn't want to be there. I kept telling my mom I want to go home. Um, I had never been in a hospital like that, but I knew I remembered what happened because when I got, I was up the whole time um, after I got shot in the head, and I called my mom and told her what happened and to come. You called your mom after you were shot in your head, and what happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a panic attack. And I just remember I didn't really have an appetite. All I really ate was, like, fruit and just different stuff. I was nauseated throwing up all the time. Like, yeah, that was just, I feel like that part was just, even worse than actual being shot in the head because I'm actually feeling, feeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was that like to realize um, that other people were shot that night? I mean, I'm actually, the place that it hit in my head, I just. Wow. And tell me it's not a money crime. Can't tell me it's not money, bro. No sympathy. And then I insult to Ezri. There was a part two. She came, Shorty came back with her mom's this time. Just not one, no, not one of those shows sympathy. It's just all this thinking about, you know, falling over her. You know, it's just crazy. They just worry about, you know, she just got grazed by the bullet. <laughs> well, we're going to go to the next part real quick.
Tonight, it is a mother's message. Her daughter, Cindy Lede, was shot the night rapper Takeoff was killed in Houston. Our Grace White brought you her exclusive story last night. She's back again with more on this family's story. What has this been like as a mom to watch your daughter go through this? Oh, as a mom, it's from, from the beginning, it's been like, like she said, it's unreal. It's like Halloween weekend just haven't stopped. Sakara Lowry remembers the moment she got the call. Just to hear the words from your child, mom, I've been shot in my head, you know, like, you're like, what? <laughs> like, what What are you saying? On the phone was her daughter, Sydney Lede. She was at the same private party in downtown Houston where rapper Takeoff was Still shot and killed. No so you went straight to the hospital. No what happened when you got there? Alameda. We stood outside in the cold and rain. Where's that footage um, at? Under the carport with the police because we couldn't go in for like seven hours. That must have been torture. It was. The police were trying to be as, as helpful as they could, but the they didn't know, you know, her situation because they were out there with me. That was and they had to secure but not the to hospital that. so that if it was a threat to her, not knowing who the shooters were, not knowing if they were followed to the hospital. She says her daughter was listed at the hospital under an alias for security. So seven hours later, you get to your daughter. What did you see? Basically, the picture that I posted on her GoFundMe is what I saw. She had a tube. To me, she looked like she was dead. <laughs> me being a mom. Just something I'll never forget. Just two days before, her mom and her pictured here, celebrating her 24th birthday. She was out celebrating, too, the night it all happened, and dressed up for Halloween. This picture taken before the shooting. The place that it hit in my head, I just feel like it, it was a miracle. Where did it hit? Can you point to it for us? In the back? Yeah, I have a big ball spot right there. This is not all about celebrity. This is about human like beings. Waverly Nolly is an attorney representing the family. A private party such as this is something that doesn't occur all the time. Therefore, you should employ more measures than normal because this w is not a normal crowd. Do you want someone to be held accountable for what happened that night to I your do. daughter? I do. Because she didn't ask for that. You know, if, if you just, I know you can't, you can go to Walmart and something can happen. But if you're out, you're just having a good time, you're in an establishment, I feel like you should be safe enough to go home. Lede is home, but life looks a lot different. After a week in the hospital and having her head stitched back together, she's still healing. There's no planning for any of it. It's no planning with her having nightmares. Um, she was constantly uh, nauseated. She couldn't eat. Um, the anxiety, the constant emotions just out of nowhere, she's crying. Lede has always had big dreams. She's from Houston, but got her Associates of Art degree from the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles. She started her own jewelry business during the pandemic and says she's always had a knack for being creative. I do know things happen for a reason. So I still have hope for her future. A future her mom says her daughter deserves even more now. I and mean, I just know God is so good because he didn't have to keep her here, but he did. So we have to live our life a different way, just being grateful. Sydney is focused on her recovery, but she knows it's going to be a long road ahead, not just physically, but also emotionally. One of the hardest parts she's dealing with are all the medical bills. At 24 years old, she has no insurance. She says her GoFundMe page is one of the biggest ways people can help. We certainly wish her the very best. Good to see she's healing physically at the very least. Yeah. On the road to recovery, but she knows she has a long way to go. A not one condolences <clears throat> to the family of Takeoff or you know, sorry or nothing, just all about her. Definitely money grab. I'm sorry. I mean, if something did happen to her, I feel sorry, but 
I don't know. She lived to tell her story, take off didn't. So I just want to send my condolences to take off family. And he still didn't get no justice yet. And he's still waiting for justice, like proper justice. Just sad, man. I just want to say rest peace to take off. Condolences to his family, his fans, including myself. Hopefully we rest in peace and we get justice for him real soon. Seriously. Y'all have a blessed night.